we are in an attempt to run through these games without making each of them their own full-length podcast because we might be able to because we played some really awesome games. We're going to run through all nine of these games alternating 10 seconds each, give you maybe a short explanation, not even really, just maybe a, key, a few key words and what we thought of the game in 10 seconds or less. We're going to go through each one. Um, so we'll, we'll alternate. And go. Number one, Subterra, cooperative, cave crawling, spelunking game with different characters, different abilities, a lot of fun. Play it. Number two, Rodney. Yellow and Yanks, you won't be the last time you hear me talk about this game in this oh. podcast. I love it. I think I love it more than Tigers and Euphrates, which was my number three game or four game of all time. I love it. It's great. It's better than Tigers and Euphrates. Ten. And number three, go. Sulkin. Uh, put your workers on those gears. Let them come around. Get the biggest benefit. Get that corn. Give it to the gods. Get the Let, most points. Rodney wins. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Number four. Scout, love this game. It's it's the number one game I'm looking for right now. I want to wow. play Scout all the time. I think my family would like it. Super cool card game. Uh, it's not unique. Shut up and sit down and talk about it. But Scout, it's great. Scout. All right, number five. Go. So Clover, cooperative word game. A lot of cards happening. A lot of writing, whiteboard style. Guess the word pairing. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Stop. Ugh, so Clover is so good. Um, number six, Summit. I own Summit. I really uh, enjoy it. It was not my favorite play. I don't want to play with six anymore. I'm gonna stop playing with six. Uh, but I I love it. It's great storytelling game. Climb that mountain. <laughs> this. I was so close. <laughs> Got One. to base camp and died. He started. He started to base Wilma. camp. Wilma. There are forks in the drawer right to your left. She was. Oh, no. She was brave. <laughs> yeah, no can opener. She just brave. fell over. 79 kilograms to start. Who knows how much she weighs now? Who knows how Nothing. much she weighed then? We don't know kilograms. Nothing. She double. Number seven, Love Letter Batman. It's Love Letter with Batman. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> he did it. He did it like four and a half seconds. The whole game explanations in the title. <laughs> That's it. Uh, we earned some time back. Oh, I get to talk about this one. I wish I could talk about this one because this one's awesome. Junk Rat was so much fun. It it's, might be my favorite dexterity game I've ever played. It was so many different game modes, and that's what was cool about it. My favorite one was probably the last one we did. Uh, tense fun. Love it. This one. Number nine. Nova Luna. Described kind of as patchwork style, but not really. You're just getting tiles. You're trying to make the right collection of colors and score the most points. Um, of those nine, is there anything you're, you're just meh on? Love Letter Batman, I think that was more for the sort of the it factor of like, it's Batman and you can't get this game really Have you all. played Love Letter before? I have. I've played Love Letter a few times. I like Love Letter. It's great. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's a classic. And you can paste any theme on, so. Sure. Why not Batman? Yeah. And they did. They literally didn't change the rules or the powers. Yeah. At all. So it was just Love Letter with a Batman theme. So kind of, every other eight, I would be happy for that to be in my collection of games. Yeah. Um, gosh, it's even. It's hard to even say So Clover. We've got such a good mix of games on here. Yeah. We've got Cooperative Dexterity, or, or sorry, Competitive Dexterity, Cooperative Spelunking uh, <laughs> you know, you a know, classic theme. You know. A bit of a cliche at this point. Cooperative Spelunky. Uh, we've but... got these tile war abstract games. You got a trick taker in there. You've got a very, very niche worker placement <laughs> gear toy factor game. Cooperative mountain climbing. What? Like, we played one of the most diverse yeah. slew of games that we probably could have strung together. Yeah, I think uh, at least five of these you just can't get your hands on right now. They're just out of print and stuff. You yeah. Just, so, so that was what was cool about it too. Had we just played these games, man, I, in some ways that's saving me because you know me, yeah. I would have, I would have bought a lot. Those five.